Aloha, boys and girls. What is going on today? Bring you guys another video. Like I said, I, I got one person told me what to do as my intros, and it was weird, and I posted on Twitter, but no one else said anything. Let me know. What do I do as my intro? I don't know what to do anymore. Like I said, I'm not good at getting an intro, giving one, so let me know in the comments. I'm not trying to be rude here, but I only got one person who gave, like, their opinion on it, so... Let's get on that. Well, um, today, I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was thinking today, I was like, what am I gonna do? All I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the Black Ops 3 beta, so, I mean, we're gonna wait together, I, I guess. I mean, that's kind of how the video is gonna work today. Um, we're basically just waiting on the beta. I tweeted out earlier, I said, I'm just casually sitting at my desk, waiting for the beta to go live, and everyone was like, yeah, right, like, you're gonna wait there for your entire life, rest in peace, dude, it's not funny, that's not, I'm actually, you guys can see, I'm literally waiting for the beta right now, Vaughn tweeted out something about it, I'm waiting, I'm here, Vaughn, please give me access, please, God, so I thought of an idea, instead of me literally just sitting here, and, you know, not doing anything, I thought, you know what, let's talk about my most anticipated things for the beta, because I'm really excited, it comes out on the 19th, that's in a couple days, so I'm not gonna wait here for like 72 hours or anything like that, because that would be weird, right? And it's sad also because the beta comes out on the day that I start back at college, like, I, if you guys don't know I'm a sophomore in college, the day I go back is the day the beta comes out, it comes out like 2, p like two in the morning, my time, and that's the first day of school, like, like I, I understand, I'm, I'm happy that I haven't started school yet, so I, I, I apologize to anyone who has already, but that kind of sucks, like the, the timing on that is absolutely terrible. So I'm still debating if I'm gonna stay up, if I'm going, cause you can't just miss your first day, like I'm gonna go in my first day of classes, like super tired the entire time. And I'm not, I'm not gonna wanna be there. I was thinking whenever they said two, I was like, oh, 2 p.m., awesome, I'll be home by then. Cause I get a class at like one, so I'm like, awesome. And then I realize it's two in the morning and I'm gonna have to stay up and wait or set my alarm and wake up till then to just, you know, load it and, and stuff, so. That's not gonna. Ha that's not gonna work for me. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, if you guys want to, you know, cause a debate now in the comments if I should go to school or not, let me know. Cause I haven't decided yet if if I'm gonna go to school or not. So, let me let me know, please. All right. So like I said, we're not gonna wait. We're not gonna just sit here and talk about Landon's problems of life and uh, you know us just calmly sitting here. But I'm gonna say my most anticipated things coming in to the Black Ops 3 beta. Comment down below what you guys want to see. Or wait till after the video is over and comment your most anticipated things coming into Black Ops 3. And I'm going to give my, you guys my ideas, my thoughts, my most anticipated things coming into this beta. So looking at everything that we've learned from the beta thus far, uh, you know, a couple things that I'm looking forward to. The first thing is probably like the new game, like having the new game in your hands and it's just like, oh, this is wonderful. And like, I'm discovering something new. And I know it's a beta. It's not the actual game coming out, but it's the beta. Um, and I think I'm just like looking forward to being lost if that makes any sense to anyone else I feel like whenever I'm in the first couple games and everyone is ranked like 11 or 12 And there's no like, you're like oh my god that guy is ranked 20 He has been grinding like you will never see that ever again except for like, the first two days of the game And I love being lost not knowing what hardly anything is going to the paint shop and like being happy that I put like a dolphin as my logo Like I was really excited in advanced warfare when I put a dolphin on my gun I was like there we go that is that is going to stick and I actually kept the dolphin and I haven't got rid of the dolphin like yet like I said just being lost in the game is probably one of my favorite things to do is just not knowing what's gonna happen or you know what the causes are uh, along with being lost in the game I I'm just excited for Black Ops in general uh, you know Black Ops 1 was probably my favorite game of all time that was probably that was just probably for the fact that that was the first game I really grinded out like I've played all of the Call of Duties basically but the one I really grinded out and loved the most and played with my friends the most is Black Ops 1 and also in Advanced Warfare like through Ghost in Advanced Warfare I've gone back and played Black Ops 2 whenever Modern Warfare 3 came out I was playing Black Ops 1 I always go back and find myself playing the Black Ops games and having way more fun than I ever imagined whenever you play a game you always go back to the previous one and you're like why did I not enjoy this this much? Because the new game sucks, that's why. No, I'm kidding, it doesn't suck. But having Black Ops 3 now is like, okay, I love Black Ops 1, I love Black Ops 2 just as much, Black Ops 3, we're destined for success here. Really looking forward to just getting my hands on the game, experiencing a Black Ops beta or Call of Duty beta for one of the first times ever. I know they've had a beta in the past that was like World at War or something, but this one, multiplayer, it's focused on multiplayer, 
I'm excited. That, that's one of the main reasons. Just having the game in my hands and, you know, playing Black Ops and also being lost in the game are three of the major factors that I'm really excited about. Another thing that I'm excited for is the M8. Now, it's not the M8A1. It's like the M8A7 or something like that. But am I excited for that gun? I actually saw uh, a couple people play it online at the eSports reveal, and it looks sick. Uh, it's not exactly like the M8A1 from Black Ops 2, but I loved that gun. That is, like, the gun. I've, I probably have, like, over 20,000 kills with that gun in particular. I love it so much and I'm really excited to get my hands on it in a Black Ops title once again but I know it's not it's not similar I, I mean it is similar but it's not exactly the same uh, I believe it's a four round burst instead of a three round burst but I'm nonetheless excited uh, to say the least for that gun especially I've also heard of a, a couple other guns that, that look pretty cool uh, like the Man of War the CUDA those all look really awesome so I'm looking forward to using those guns another thing that I'm really looking forward to coming into the Black Ops 3 beta are the specialists and I believe in the beta trailer they actually introduced two new ones which are like the Spectre and the Battery which look really really cool as well so I'm looking forward to get my specialist my, my hands on the specialist for this game it's a lot different we've never really seen anything like this exactly but like I said, it's, it's nothing like we've ever experienced before the specialist is not like anything we've ever experienced in a Call of Duty title so I'm really looking forward to seeing how those work exactly like getting my hands on new abilities and stuff uh, Out of everything I say like the specialist is really really cool next thing is probably if it's if it's possible if it's in there is the caster mode now if the caster mode is in there I'm probably gonna be focusing on that more than anything else besides actually playing the game because uh, I want to know this game backwards and forwards for casting because I know I'm a caster call of the caster uh, at least got known in this game and I want to know as much as I possibly can I want to know all the specialists I'm gonna be taking notes recording gameplays if it's possible you know uploading it if it's possible I don't know if you will be able to if you'll get copyright strike for it but I'm gonna do my best to provide as much information in the esports realm as possible for this game now I know a lot of people will talk about oh you know all the Call of Duty news. Well, I want to bring it where it's esports friendly. I want people to know, you know, how these things work, what's the reason to use this, and you know, the amount of strategy that's going to come into Black Ops 3 for competitive is insane. So, if you're a caster, you have to know all this stuff. You have to be, uh, you know, on top of your game, and I'm ready for it. And I'm, I'm hoping that if the caster mode is in here, I can kind of get my, my taste on, on how it's going to work and, uh, you know, maybe experience it a little bit. And if there, if there is an option to, I might be doing casting eights if it is an option. Now, if it isn't, then don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to be streaming this, though. Keep in mind, I'm going to be streaming black ops 3 all the time and casting and the caster mode will definitely help that if it's in the game now, i have no idea if it will be but if there, is, if there is an option it will be happening so let's see one of the final things that i'm really looking forward to coming into the beta uh, is the paint shop mode. If you guys know what the paint shop mode is, basically a way to add your own camo. You can make whatever you want to put on your gun. You have so many layers. It's like absolutely insane the amount of layers that you have, uh, you know, in the paint shop mode. But that's something I'm really looking forward to as well. I had no idea that it was going to be in the beta. And if you guys are curious, I actually made a video about the entire beta trailer, uh, kind of breaking down absolutely everything that happened. I saw a couple of people make videos about it, and it was like two minutes long. I'm like, that's as long as the trailer actually is. So I, I made a full in-depth video. Uh, and if you guys are curious, I'll put a link down in the description description to that video if you guys would like to watch it but uh, you know one of the main factors like I said is paint shop I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this kind of experiencing to see how it works and like I said if there is an opportunity to make videos to upload the beta videos um, know that I'm gonna be making stuff about just about every single feature that's in the game so paint shop included uh, you'll be talking a little bit about that as well once I get my hands on it so guys I think that's really going to do it for everything that I'm really looking forward to, you know, except for just having the game in my hands. But like I said, put down in the comments what you guys are looking forward to most. It could be one thing. It could be the entire game. I don't care what it is. It could be one specific gun like me, the M8. I don't know. So I decided to not mention this at the beginning of the video because I don't want people to think that I'm a money hungry guy. And I just want to make my, you know, make money off of, off of YouTube, which is my goal, uh, you know, clearly to make money off of it. But the only reason that I do it is because I love doing it. So that's, that's the goal behind this entire thing. So what this website is called, it's called, uh, Patreon.com, which is basically a website where you can, uh, you know, send money or give money to people, but you get something back. Now, I made goals or certain things that you can pledge if you want to, and it's per month. So if you guys donate, let's say five bucks per month, you get a certain, uh, you know, pledge type of reward. So it's called the early bird is what I have for for pledging over five dollars, which you get YouTube content early. You get different stuff. You get different perks, uh, you know, for donating certain portions per month and uh, you know I've seen a lot of people who make content do this type of stuff and they end up making a living off of this which I think is definitely my main goal you know it, being in esports and also making YouTube videos is something that I love doing and something that I want to continue doing for as long as I possibly can and that also has to kind of relate back to money and I wish you know money didn't have to revolve in the world as much as it does um, but you know it's just how it goes so if you guys would like to it's very much appreciated you get something out of it it's not just donating money and not getting anything from it uh, you, know, you will get certain perks based on how much you donate per month and you can cancel it whenever you want to so I'm not making this video to promote it only 
I wanted to promote it at the end so it's not that big of a deal. It's just out there if you would like to, it's not necessary, and you won't be getting any, um, you know, hate or you won't be getting anything less from not doing it. So it's just kind of extra stuff, so just want to let you guys know that. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, make sure to leave a comment and also a like if you guys really did enjoy the video. Uh, but guys, that's been it for me. I'll see you guys until next time. I have been Air Landon, and I will see you in the next video, possibly. With some Black Ops 3 content. I'm just going to be waiting here, so... You know, peace out. Peace, peace out, guys. Be right here. I'm on a